timing could not be better. And I am very happy to hear that uh, Regent alone is, has already had bookings close to 2,000 Trinidadians who want to come here for either the crop over or the Rihanna event or both. And that is extremely encouraging because the, 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 uh, the competitors are all, have also seen an increase in bookings for that period. So already we start to see that increased activity that, uh, that we want to see with respect to the, the, uh, the whole Caribbean market and travel within the Caribbean. And so I just again want to apologize that I would not be able to make the flight. Uh, I understand it's a good fun plan to train that, and what I'm hearing, I, I, I would probably enjoy that more than going to Carnival. I uh, <laughs> want to plan that the Argo, but uh, hopefully you come back in one piece. Um, and uh, I don't hear that you have been detained uh, keep Abu Bakar's company or anything like that, <laughs> <laughs> but, but nonetheless, it's time for change. It's time the Red Jet is allowed to roll out across the region on a way that can bring all of these benefits to as many countries as our aircraft can fit. As we said before, we're not hung up on dirty ads, we actually like them. <laughs> you know, it's publicizing our business, it's driving people to our website, so we're very happy that people want to spend money advertising RedJet. It saves us a fortune. <laughs> uh, is that we broke even on within four weeks of starting our operation on that route, and within seven weeks we've become profitable. That is, again, in aviation terms, a remarkable performance. We have a 99.5% on-time performance. We promised people when we came here the lowest fares, best on-time performance, and the least amount of lost banks. The last statistic <laughs> identifies that as well. Looking at our customer service, because we are an airline created by consumers for consumers. 98.5% of passengers would recommend us to their family and friends. 89% only flew because RedJet had low fares. Now the 98.5% very satisfied and would fly with us again statistic, I will benchmark against our original market survey which said that only 4% of people who travelled thought that travel was good value and will travel again on the services that have been provided. So against that benchmark, that is a fantastic performance I think. We often talk of the North Atlantic market as if that is what tourism is about, but as, as has been very eloquently stated by, by, by Mr. Wright, it's our third largest market and it's a significant market for a couple of reasons. Um, the, 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 they tend to come, as was mentioned, for events. That helps, again, the event promoters and planners in terms of improving the viability for many of the cultural events and sporting events. They tend to stay in the smaller indigenous, indigenously owned hotel properties, um, or sometimes even stay with friends, and you don't mind that because it's kind of reaching the community level. Uh, they hardly come through co operators, so the money is not filtered. And they're not leaving a lot of it in, in their uh, countries of origin. They're, they're bringing it all here. And, um, and I think it is, it's important that we continue to, to grow that aspect of, of, uh, of our tourism, uh, our tourism you know, offering. And the other thing, of course, is that given that we signed on with, that, with the single market economy, as a matter of fact, we have to leave responsibility to that particular aspect of Caricom operation. The more movement we can have in and out of Barbados, the better off the regional experiment will be. And I think that is an important point for me to make as I launch into the fact or to explain government support for this venture. It is not that we wish ill on the other providers of uh, of, 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 regional, of, of regional travel. In fact, we would like to see everyone doing well. But if we have more players involved, and if we have more competition involved, then the consumer will benefit. Everyone will sharpen their pencil, 
and offer better fares, the quality of, uh, of, of service will improve, and indeed everyone will benefit. The support for Regex doesn't mean that you want to see the others uh, fail. I genuinely believe we can all succeed. We already have some flights sold out. We have already achieved 50% of our booking targets for July, August, and September. Our website now achieves more than 40,000 daily hits, and our call center is jammed to capacity. We've heard that our competitors will not react to, uh, to uh, RedJet. Well, their dirty ads campaigns have started, but we, don't, we believe that's a compliment to RedJet. They actually see us as an airline, despite what they might say, and we're very proud that people are treating us seriously. We said on day one that we were starting a war on high fares. We believe the Caribbean has already seen on routes that we have said we want to fly, have seen significant reductions through even the threat of our entry into those markets. And we have said we would, we would bring a 60% reduction into what was the current fares. And that has already happened and is happening. And in fact, the savings are even more than that, as you would have seen on the Guyana route. So we will grow the market by 50% by the end of the year on the routes that we draw. And again, that's just taking the statistic on a conservative basis from Guyana, which is really after two and a half months we've achieved a 70% growth factor. So it's great news, as it says there, for consumers, and it's a massive response. For the Caribbean as a whole, statistically it has been proven that one million passengers creates 4,000 jobs in a local economy. Statistically, in independent surveys, the introduction of low fare airlines boosts the GDP of a country or region by between 2 and 4 percent, depending on the level of development of the country or region. So RedJet has continued to make a significant investment in the Caribbean, despite the issues we faced, despite the fact that people have said we wouldn't survive and we would, they, would, they would be able to try and bleed us out of the market. Thanks to the support of our fantastic shareholders, we have been able to ride out all these storms and we are now looking forward and upward. RedJet will add 750,000 low fare seats into the Caribbean over the coming 12 months, and 400,000 of those will touch Barbados one way or another. RedJet fares will grow markets and more passengers than we can carry, and I think Guyana proves that. The myth that people put out that Red Jet will kill somebody is just a nonsense. Because we can't cope with the demand. We don't have enough capacity. So the people who want to travel will have to use other airlines. And those other airlines are going to have to step up to the plate and provide what the consumer wants. People often ask me, what do we mean by open skies? Well, an open skies air transport agreement is a particular sort of bilateral or multilateral air transport agreement. It sets liberal ground rules for international aviation markets and minimizes government intervention. Provisions apply for passenger, all cargo and combination of air transportation and encompass both scheduled and charter services. The key provisions include free market competition, pricing determined by market forces, fair and equal opportunity to compete, cooperative marketing agreements, provision for dispute settlement and consultation, liberal charter agreements, and safety and security. RedJet's goal is that through CARICOM, a true open skies agreement will exist on a multilateral basis and not just on a bilateral basis. 